Hello and welcome to Express Drives. Today we're going to talk about compact SUVs and why not? Because this segment is one of the most dynamic segments at the cost of hatchbacks. And today we have the 2022 Hyundai Venue facelift. Now according to Hyundai, this segment is, is expanding because 38% of the first time buyers are opting for the Venue. Well, now as you mentioned, this is a facelift one, but we're going to find out what is new about it is it more than just a nip and tuck job? Well, let's find out. The 2022 venue looks very similar to the outgoing model and why not? Because it continues to look like an old school SUV. Now, what is radical about this design is the front nose. This is very similar to the Tucson, so that's the new design language Hyundai follows. You can see that the nose is all blacked out and comes with chrome studs. On top of that, it also has this blacked out bumper and then skid plates. So it has that road presence that you need for an SUV. Going with the styling, it also follows the same split headlamp design, but now the DRLs are a lot more sleeker, so it looks contemporary. Now the side profile you can see is the same as the outgoing model. It has uh, flared uh, wheel arches, the character lines running across the board and also you have the ski racks up there. Now what is new is this, the 16 inch alloy wheels. These are diamond cut alloy wheels. So they are a lot more contemporary again and a lot more snazzy to look at. Now the rear design is something that I personally like. I find it extremely pleasing to look at and why not? Because it has a brand new design. It has this rear lamps that run across the tailgate and it looks actually quite snazzy. Now, if you look closer at uh, the rear lamps itself, the vertically shaped ones, they kind of look like, now forgive me for saying this, they look like the Volvo's Thor Hammer. But hey, I'm not saying anything good or bad, it just stands out. And apart from that, of course, it has that uh, black bumpers like in the front. So again, it comes across as that old school SUV road presence. So when you step inside the 2022 venue, you wonder what is new. Well, it doesn't take you too long to figure that out because first and foremost, you find the dual tone gray and black combination, which looks very premium. On top of that, yes, it retains that eight inch infotainment system, but it's a lot more updated. It is a lot more intuitive and user friendly and feels like one of your personal devices. So you can't go wrong in that. On top of that, it also offers first segment features like you can change the language to a regional language. So it offers 10 regional languages and two international languages, English and Korean. It also now comes with an all digital instrument cluster, which it didn't before. And it has three different riding modes. It gets a rotary knob right here. You can just change it. So you can choose eco or normal. And if you want more power, of course, then it's a sport mode. And based on your driving mode, the instrument cluster also changes, the theme changes accordingly. Other first segment uh, features it offers is it has a four-way adjustable electric seat. That's for the driver's side only. And it also comes with a height adjustment, which has a manual lever. Another thing that is a stress buster that Hyundai claims or insists on is ambient natural sounds. This car comes with six natural ambient sounds and all you have to do is press on the mode button on the steering wheel and there you can hear rainfall. You can change it just by the way you change um, a music track. So there are six different versions. It's wind, it's fire, it's like, you know, also the ambient sound of the forest. So you can hear the creepers. Basically, this is gonna help you relax after a stressful day. Now the venue is not the longest or the widest SUV in the segment, but it does not compromise on legroom. 
and that is because the front seat is scooped up so you have a lot of knee room, leg room and the seats themselves they offer very decent thigh support. Now also sticking to comfort Hyundai has offered first in the segment feature the rear back of the passengers in the second row or the last row can also be reclined so it has a two-step recliner and you know it goes back a bit further and makes it a lot more comfortable now hyundai joined the party a bit late with the venue but it is the most connected suv in the segment it offers more than 60 connectivity features now the 2022 version is also equipped with amazon alexa and google home so what that means is that you can sit at home you can switch on the car you can activate your AC, you can also know all sorts of details and information that you need about your car like fuel level, uh, tire pressure, everything is possible at the comfort of your home. Now mechanically speaking, the 2022 venue there's not much difference but hyundai has tweaked a couple of things one is the dct or the seven speed dual clutch transmission and the other one is the suspension setup now it continues to offer one of the widest ranges of uh, engines so it comes with three engines again and the 1.2 liter naturally aspirated one which has uh, 82 bhp then is the diesel the 1.5 liter that uh, offers 99 bhp and the one that we are driving is the one liter turbo petrol which churns out 118 bhp of power and this is also mated to the seven speed dct now what are the improvements that they have done in this transmission well the first thing that you'll see is the way it upshifts in slow uh, speed earlier you used to feel that upshift you would know exactly when uh, the gears are changing but now that is not so it's now a smooth transition it is extremely refined and one really can't complain about it now the other thing that continues the one liter is that it negates that turbo lag that we all know turbo petrols have now within 1500 rpm to 2000 rpm you feel no turbo lag at all and that is because of the electronics hyundai has um, used now beyond the 2000 rpm mark then you feel the turbo kicking in you feel that the car is increasing pace rapidly and uh, in the mid-range power band that is where the car is happiest it uh, actually goes past the triple digit uh, speed very very quickly and rapidly so again no complaints there so how is it also to drive well the steering wheel itself is a little bit on the lighter side so that will favor a lot of people you can drive it in the city comfortably you can uh, negotiate winding roads and uh, cut through uh, slow moving traffic all effortlessly done and also on the highway when you're going at a faster pace you don't feel it uh, featherweight either it has enough weight to make it feel stable now coming to the suspension setup it is very comfortable it is not very pronounced neither is it uh, too wallowy like a sofa so it gets that balancing act right and ensures that both the passengers in front and the driver as well as the passengers in the back they are pampered as we drove the venue both in the city and on the highway it returned a very decent figure of just below 15 kilometers per liter now that is very impressive because uh, we drove it in start stop traffic and at the same time we did step on the pedal on the highway so that is a thumbs up for the venue So in the beginning we asked whether the 2022 Hyundai venue is just a nip and tuck job and the answer is no absolutely not yes design wise there are some changes but it also comes with additional safety features it comes with uh, new driving modes and pedal shifters that it lacked even the DCT is a lot more refined now and there are some comfort features as well so it offers quite a bit and on top of that it also has a three-year unlimited kilometers warranty so you can't really go wrong with the venue now it starts at 7.35 lakhs and goes all the way to 12.57 lakhs so it is very much within the price range of its competitors so if you're in the market for a compact suv we suggest go to your nearest dealer and take a spin because we think it certainly has a lot to offer
If you haven't already subscribed our channel, please go ahead and do so and don't hesitate on clicking on the like button. Also, we would love to hear from you what you think of the new venue.